Welcome everybody. Uh, I've been busy with other stuff lately, so I haven't had the chance to make a video in the last, oh, I don't know, two, three weeks. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to prepare for the CK exam, basically for free. Uh, you can create an account on ChatGPT for free, and then you can ask it all a bunch of questions and it will give you answers and solutions and whatnot. So it's better to just give you a demo than just uh, uh, talk about it. Um, by the way, if you like my content, please, I would appreciate if you like and subscribe my videos. Uh, that would help me with the YouTube's algorithm. All right, let's get started. Um, so, for example, first of all, let's just see what topics are covered in the CK exam. So let's just say, give me a list of topics covered in the CK exam. And it probably give me a whole bunch. The last time I did this, I only I told it to limit to twenty. All right, so give me ten. I see. So it's giving me the broad topics. Let's say give me twenty sub topics. As you can see, it remembers the context. It remembers what you asked it in the past. So when you when I say give me twenty sub topics, it knows. What I'm talking about based on the first question I asked it, so it remembers all that, which is so basically it's like talking to a teacher, right? So let's do this. Let's say give me a super easy CKA exercise. It gives you the problem, it gives you the solution too. And it's a super easy one. You're not going to get anything like it on the next exam, but you know you get the idea. Now, let's just say that you want um, a particular topic. So let's just say, we'll say, give me a CKA exam exercise, exercise on the topic of PVCs. And it gave me pretty standard one. That's pretty good. This is about the level that you're going to get on the test. Maybe just a little bit harder than this, but not too much harder. Um, so let's tell let's tell ChatGPT to make it harder. Now give me a new one on the same topic, but just a bit harder. So now you see it moved on from PVC to using a PVC to create a stateful set. So that's a little bit harder. And it also gives you the uh, solution to it. So you can do that. Sometimes on the test, um, it's still going, looks like. This is a bit long for the CK exam. Maybe. I don't know if it's average. It's probably close to an average kind of question on the CK exam. This might, it looks like a little bit harder than an average exam uh, question. So now let's say that you know, sometimes they will give, they'll give you a broken YAML file and you have to figure out what the problem is. So let's practice that. Give me a CKA exam. Actually, I shouldn't have to say that because you should remember exercise exercise that will have a yaml file with two errors to fix so basically it's now giving you a yaml file that has two errors in it so that you have to go go fix this is more like a uh, CK exam question. Uh, actually, this two is a little long. Uh, I don't think you're going to get this long a question. And even if, even if you do, I don't think you have to. How long is pretty? It's pretty long. Um, you will. You can pass the exam having 
not not getting this long a question correct. All right, remember you don't have to get hundred percent. I think it's like sixty or something or sixty five percent or something like that. All right, so let's tell it. Tell ChatGPT that was too long. Give me a shorter one. So it gives me another PVC exercise, and this time it's a little bit shorter, and it gives gives you gives you one with an error, and then it tells you what the error is. If you don't want the answer, uh, there's a problem that I face when I this that. Can you only give me the YAML file with the errors but not the fix so this time i'm not asking for the answer just give me the give me the give me the problem what if you wanted to practice a particular topic so let's say let's once again give me 20 ck exam subtopics here are some topics. Let's just say that um, my weakness is um, ETCD, which it is. I don't know a whole lot about ETCD. So let's just say that give me a give me an exercise on ETCD that is easy. So it's about it backing up ETCD. I think it's, it's a actually stated uh, subtopic in the uh, exam. So you should know this, uh, know how to do this for the exam. And as you can see, it's not too hard a thing to figure out if we're studying. It's not too long, right? Now, what if we wanted to, let's see what, what other topic is a weakness for me. RBAC. RBAC is something I'm not very good at. So let's say give me an exercise. on our back of medium you see how it can be really really specific medium level it's like talking to a teacher so now it's giving me an, an exercise on our back and it's kind of long already but not too long yet now it's getting a little long Yeah, so this level of complex question is probably on the harder side of the CK exam. Um, to pass the exam, maybe you have to get one of these level questions right. I'm not sure. Maybe you can pass without it. Uh, I'm not too sure about that and because you can miss a lot of questions and still pass the exam. It's, it's, the exam is more about picking the right one with the more weight but easy, uh, a, a, easy question. And it's really more about speed. It's more about how to do it quickly, not so much uh, uh, fix, you know, getting the most complicated question right. All right. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video.